since I'm the first one on the block, at least from the architects, I would say, let's start. Creativity has no glass ceiling. Today being Women's Day, I would like to celebrate some amazing women from different fields who've really created history. Indra Nui. Indra Nui is an Indian American business executive and the current chairwoman and CEO of PepsiCo, the second largest food and beverage business in the world. She has consistently ranked amongst the world's 100 most powerful women. Whitney Houston, an amazing singer. Whitney was an American singer, actress, as well as a producer. In 2009, the Guinness World Records cited her as the most awarded female act of all times. Did you know that Whitney's single, I Will Always Love You, is the fifth best-selling single worldwide by sale? Meryl Streep, the actor to get three Oscars and 21 nominations. She is a woman who has definitely created history, done startlingly different roles, and broken every stereotype there is through her sheer talent. The common streak that is seen amongst all these women is that they have moved out of their comfort zone. They have broken records in different fields, and they have been truly creative. Yet, when I type and look for an image of creative on the internet, I get an image of this man. Why is it always a man's image? Why isn't it a woman? Why are we always surrounded by imagery of men? Are women always going to be tracked in societal norms? Are we never going to be allowed to be set free? The scales always seem to be straight. But for example, if a woman asks for leave to take care of her child, it is called bad time management. While if a man asks for leave, suddenly he is thought of a very caring and a very benevolent father. So is society really fair? Or are these scales forever tipping in the favor of men? And this is probably what boxes some women in, sort of creating mind blocks. Even when you look at the English language, you will always find that it is mankind, man-made, and manpower. The list is endless. So a question that while we are trying to succeed and while we are trying to shatter the ceilings, don't you think we also require to readdress our society to avoid this repeated male gender glorification? I think we should change this inequality. We have to make a choice. We have to take a chance and we have to be the change. We can start by doing what is necessary, then do what's possible, and suddenly you're doing the impossible, because even the word impossible is made of I'm possible. To succeed, we women have to be very adaptable to different environments and different work circumstances, and we have to persevere to continue, like almost everybody. But I think women manage a very, very tough balancing act. They have to balance very judiciously their work life as well as their personal lives. And I think they do an amazing job of it because they are always trying to be everywhere at one time. And I'm sure all of you realize that. I think for us to succeed, as in we already have women who've succeeded, but basically for more women to really come out forward, I think all of us women have to join hands. We require to bridge this divide and not be afraid to ask for help for maybe other fellow women. Because to succeed, I strongly feel that we require to connect and to communicate. We have to take that leap of faith so that more women can reach their true potential, shatter the myth of being caged. It is only then that we can actually make true progress and recreate the future. My mantra, never give up. Success is a journey. It's not a destination. Success comes with perseverance and determination. Yes, most women overthink their femininity, creating doubts in their mind without realizing that succeeding in life is more about a positive mindset rather than about gender. Let's take a cue from somebody who has never, never had to take a step back, somebody who is truly creative, I don't think I require to introduce her, Dame Zaha Hadid. I'm sure a lot of 
people don't appreciate the kind of work she does, saying that her work is uh, not sustainable, it's too expensive, it's not contextual. But the point of the matter is that she should be appreciated because she dared to be different, she dared to have radical ideas, and she put all these ideas across to probably rooms full of men, and she did it well. The first woman to win a Pritzker Award. So basically, I think, we all have it within ourselves to be amazing, to be great, make the impossible possible, and break all the ceilings. We women are wonder women. And I'm sure if I check underneath your clothes today, I will definitely find that red cape. I think we have the ability to break through all our inhibitions and paint our own destiny. You know, I'm often asked this question, why did you do architecture? And for those who know me, I love music and architecture is frozen music. Architecture is about wonder. It's a story. It's a story which is told in hard materials. It's about creativity. For me, the inspiration is do something, be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. It's a great saying to live your life by, and that's what architecture really means to me. It's been an eventful journey so far, and we will hopefully do better and more varied works something which stretches our imagination, which pushes the envelope. And on a personal level, I'm a firm believer of the truth, that if you're not failing every now and then, you're not doing anything very innovative. Every great dream begins with the dreamer. Always remember you have it within you, the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars. Thank you.